we go back normally for homecoming, and probably the highlight of that isn't so much a game, it's seeing my teammates. There's a bond that you make that's nothing like nothing else. And a friendship, and because you know them down inside, they know you. We kept this great friend, he's my best friend. He's done well, I'm proud of him. Well, thank you, you have too. I'm proud of you. Yeah. We love each other and... You're gonna make me cry. Flip. <laughs> <laughs> Phipps drops back on first and 10 and throws a long pass to Dillingham. He's a strong leader. I mean, Mike's a leader. He was a leader through example. He was in a big word guy. But on the field, he led by example, like leading Leroy Keyes around the end and blocking three people, you know? Keyes takes the pitch, cuts wide right, and scampers 41 yards down the sideline for a Purdue touchdown. Tell us about Leroy and what it was like, you know, with him as, as your teammate. Well, Leroy, instead of talking about him as maybe the GOAT, right? I'd rather talk about him as a man. As a person. Because his value system was impeccable. He um, was inspirational to everybody he talked to. Leroy was the kind of person, no matter how bad you were feeling, when you talked to him and you left, you felt good. But part of Key's success, a lot of people don't know this, most quarterbacks don't like to block too much. <laughs> when we ran that Leroy, give the ball to Leroy toss, mm -hmm. and he led it, he was like a pulling guard. So he blocked, I mean, he was, part of the formula for Leroy's success, and he really went around the corner and cleaned it out. It was my first game as, as you know, college, and, you know, the thing, and I think back, there I am shaking the hands with the first band that, you know, landed on the moon. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, <laughs> and that was a real special moment for me, and I had completely forgot about it, but it, it was, I visualized it again, and it was like, wow, you know, that was a, a special photo. Phipps drops back, spots keys, open up the middle. When I retired and I did it on my own, you always get that question you hear, do you miss it, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, do you miss it? And somebody asked me that, and I said, you know, I, I was as happy or happier the day I retired than the day I first got drafted. And it's like, he looked at me and said, how can that be, you know? It's like, you don't understand professional football and, and the pressure that we, you know, we are, we are under, particularly a quarterback. I mean, it's like, yeah. it, everybody sees what you do. Keeper pitches to Keys. A lot of people wondered why Coach Malenkoff was such, such a great coach. Mm -hmm. He was tough as nails, really tough, diminutive guy. But when he spoke, everybody listened. Jack had cancer at the time. And uh, he decided against medical authority that he was gonna put his robe on and come over to the locker room and meet all the players. So he comes in and he's the normal gruff, you know, he's, and starts hugging every player. And he said how much he loved you. And uh, I'm still crying <laughs> thinking about it. But uh, that's why he was such a great coach because he demanded a lot but you knew he really cared about you.